Hi everyone, this is Elliot Games, and today I'm watching episode 21 of Zoids. We're getting pretty close to the end here. Um, yeah. It's, quite, it's been quite the almost non-eventful uh, adventure when it comes to, like, actual progression. <laughs> but at the same time, it's also been a lot of fun. Uh... It's been fun and nostalgic, despite the fact that I've never really seen this before, <laughs> which is a, a little bit funny. Um, but this one's called Harry's Disaster. Dr. Layton traps Tauros. Now, I don't remember who he is. Dr. Layton? Or Layon. Layon. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that the Dr. Layon that... <laughs> Like, saying it out loud, I just realized it sounds exactly like, you know, the antagonist we've seen a couple of times already, but it's spelled differently. It was spelled like Leon before, sort of, and now it's spelled Leon. So, either there's a different character that I'm thinking of, or maybe they just decided to spell it differently to differentiate more from Leon. <laughs> but um yeah let's just see what uh what that actually means i have been wanting more harry like something to actually happen with harry like it's just an endless status quo of him just eternally wanting her and she just ignoring him there had like <laughs> I mean, interestingly enough, I do think that Lena is the type of person to do mm, if she was interested in having that kind of relationship with someone she she i think feel she would do that. But at the same time, there's like zero indication that anything is going to happen with Lena and Bit. There's been zero progression there. I think it's really unnecessary to send a love letter, Harry. Everyone already knows your weird preference. I have to say, uh, Bits Frankenstein uh, retort was actually pretty funny. It took me like a second to get to understand it. <laughs> so she wrote a letter to him. He has a heart too. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah? Something fell out of it. That's probably just the letter he wrote. Oh! Okay, so I guess what fell out of the letter was the order form, but uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so 
I already understand what the thing is here. It's good. The love letter and the order were switched, wasn't it? I mean, weren't they? I was about to say he has a big everything, but I can't know. All right, suddenly battle. So I guess lay on. <laughs> His hair didn't look that weird in that shot. You know, you'd think with the, like, amount of improvements, like the rate of improvement in general with Zoids over the course of this show, that's the only thing that actually has progressed quite a bit, like the actual ability of the Zoids. With that in mind, with that said, with that progression speed, you'd think that, like, within a couple of years, they'd be, like, just, like... <laughs> okay, so he got the, the order, and he thinks that she... Okay, alright. So back to what I was saying. You'd think that within a couple of, like... Like, within, like, a hundred years or something... They probably have, like, Zoids with the ability to, like, split a planet or something. I haven't learned a thing. Oh, his name is Tauros, huh? I never even knew that. <laughs> I think he's giving him way too much credit. <laughs> so I guess she does <laughs> use him in a way. I guess that's probably why she doesn't outright reject him. Like, it feels like she doesn't. She's just leading him on and hoping that he'll consistently... Keep uh, pampering her forever, I guess, which is pretty messed up. Though, honestly, like, if she's so comfortable doing that, just taking advantage of his money, why not just, like, respond to his advances in some way? <laughs> oh, oh my, huh? I guess it's a pretty steamy letter then. Okay then, well... <laughs> She's clearly already gone out with him in some, like... In that, in that picture where she was, like, walking with ice cream while he was carrying all of her stuff, that's basically, like, the same thing. No, no, she's not. 
It would be nice to see like his like the origin story for this obsession. That's a cool looking one, but uh, how did he get inside? The security here is terrible. Yeah, because a stranger coming in and hugging you. <laughs> um, he's kind of very lightly dressed, Lena. That's uh. <laughs> so it can also transform. That almost sounded like a goofy yell. Well, you can't? I mean, it's not like you paid any of this. You, uh... <laughs> Oh, confrontation, huh? Oh, okay, so... <laughs> They're both pretty big creepers, aren't they? Does he test everything with figures first? <laughs> so I guess Leon kind of assumed that they were in a relationship and that she would care if he was kidnapped. I like how these, like, basically illegal battles still have prize money. They still, like, follow the, like, the rules, even though, like, it's their own rules, but still they have their own rules. Wow, that sounded really lewd. Yeah, they're both fairly unreliable, aren't they? Kind of scummy. She's not the one that, like, abandoned the backdraft group earlier on, right? The one with the, where he, like, threw the bracelet in the... In the pond? I don't think so.
Yeah, hitting on the surface while they're underground. That's um, that'll do, Alina. Because they didn't, they were underground. Wouldn't that be an incredibly simple thing to solve just by having them pivot the guns? Yeah, I kind of assumed that would happen. Oh, right. <laughs> Thankfully, you just got that. So, well, it seems bread is a lot more useful. Now his, his Zoid is actually pretty top quality, so he powered up quite a bit, sadly. It does kind of change the fact that Bit was always the reason they were winning, but at the same time, why'd it have to be Brad? <laughs> Well, I mean, he has a gigantic cannon now. He stole the show whether you finish them or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of thought that him talking about Lena never accepting his advances. Like, I thought that conversation would lead somewhere, but it seems not. <laughs> Hopefully that cannon has a pretty good defenses. You know, if they can win that way, why couldn't you, they just attach the cannon to to the actual like snail thing? 
the hover cargo, I think they call it. Like, they could have just attached it to that and won this unsanctioned battle in the same way. Just, like, destroy the whale. <laughs> Boyfriend. Okay, where's this going? <laughs> okay, that's where that was going. And, alright, she's willing to murder somebody because... She got stood up. Even if it was accidental. And they were kidnapped. That's Lena for you. So, uh, Harry's dead right now. I mean, yeah. Clearly, like... He has to be dead. Yeah, I murdered someone. Look at, I mean, do you hear that maniacal laughter? That's kind of adorable. <laughs> I think everyone in this show has problems. <laughs> Oh, Harry. If if her trying to actually kill you blatantly and with extreme power won't change your perception of her, then I think he's just a lost cause. There's there's no coming back from that when you're th when you're that far down the rabbit hole of simping. Okay, well, with that said, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.